Welcome to Techie Dialogue. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix the unexpected WSL error in Docker Desktop and get everything running smoothly again. First, click on the Start menu and type CMD in the search box. Right-click on Command Prompt from the results and select Run as Administrator to open it with full access. If a User Account Control Prompt appears, go ahead and click Yes to confirm the action. This allows the command prompt to make system-level changes. Now type in IP config slash flush DNS and press Enter. This clears your DNS cache, which can help solve network-related issues affecting Docker. Next, type NETSH Winsock Reset and hit Enter. This resets the Winsock catalog, which can fix errors caused by network component corruption. Once that's done, close the command prompt window and restart your computer. A reboot helps apply the changes properly and clears any lingering issues. Now let's move on to the second method using PowerShell and Windows features. Click on the Start menu, type PowerShell, then right-click on Windows PowerShell and select Run as Administrator to open it with elevated permissions. If you see a user account control prompt, click Yes to proceed. This step ensures PowerShell can update system components as needed. Type in WSL update and press enter. This command updates the Windows subsystem for Linux to its latest version, which might fix the error. Once the update finishes, close the PowerShell window. You've now completed the WSL update step. Open the Start menu again, type Windows Features, and click on Turn Windows Features On or Off from the results. In the Windows Features window, find Hyper-V and make sure it's checked. Also check any items listed underneath it as they're necessary for virtualization. Click OK to apply the changes. Your system may process updates for a moment, so be patient. Finally, restart your computer one more time. This will ensure all the updates and settings are fully applied. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Techie Dialogue.